We've got three things on tap tonight. First up will be a box of 2016 black gold football. That's going to be followed by a box of 2014 Topps Triple Threads. And then our main event tonight is a full case of 2017 Panini Plates and Patches. So that's kind of the order that we're going to do things in tonight. I do know we have a few uh, folks that are new in terms of bidding with me anyway. So just to kind of give you an idea, we run through some information here that you're going to see on the screen, and we're also going to talk about verbally. And as soon as we get through that, we'll start on our breaks tonight. So first up, there's two things here. The most important one of the two is thank you to everybody. I always appreciate you bidding with me and breaking with me. Many of you keep me company in chat, both on nights when you're in the break and on nights when you're not in the break. And I always appreciate that too. I like having the company. So item number one there is thank you. Item number two, guys, is that my feedback is completely automated on eBay. So if you leave me positive feedback, you're going to get positive feedback instantly in return. You don't have to wait on me to try to get caught up on feedback and all that kind of stuff. Next up, we're going to take a quick look at the things that are coming up in the days ahead. These are the things we have listed that will be breaking over the course of the next five days. So tomorrow night um, is a box of 2014 black gold football and then four boxes, which is a quarter case of Panini Prestige Basketball. That product has a lot of cards in each box, and it has a lot of boxes in the case. That's why it's a quarter of a case, um, and it's 16 boxes, so I couldn't even do it as a third of a case, which is what I would have preferred. Anyway, it's also a Hobby Direct product, so the only way you could get it was through a local hobby store. You couldn't get it any other way, not through distributors or any of the normal channels. And it looks like it's going to be fun. They have some extra stuff in it that they haven't had in the past, like cracked ice uh, inserts. As you know, those are usually numbered to 25. And some other fun stuff, too. Some case hits and uh, usual kind of stuff. So that will be tomorrow night. Wednesday night, of course, we have Encased Football coming out and Heritage Baseball. We're going to break both of those, 2017 Encased and 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. Both will be half case breaks uh, tomorrow night, along with a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures and a full-size football helmet. Then when we go on down, you'll see some more one-box breaks for various years, 2011, 13, 14, 15, 2010, even all kinds of stuff in there. Thursday night, our case will be a half case of Contenders Basketball, which that thing is sold out practically everywhere. It's gotten crazy. Friday night will be a full case of select football. That'll be my last case of select football. And then again, uh, some autograph memorabilia and some one box breaks. Saturday, more of the same, some one box things and the back half of the contenders case that will start on Thursday. So that's what it looks like for the days ahead. For tonight, our three breaks are going to go basically in the order you see there. Our 2016 black gold will be up first, 2014 tops triple thread second. And then our full case of 2017 plates and patches will be third. Free shipping, guys. Um, the first two breaks, the 16 black gold and the 14 triple threads, those are both free shipping breaks. Those things go out. Um, free shipping always goes about five to six days after the auction ends, okay? So your anticipated shipping date for those two things is Saturday, this Saturday, March the 3rd. On the other hand, our plates and patches, that's a paid shipping break. That's most likely going to get out the door to you on Wednesday, which is the 28th. If you're in one of the first two breaks, please take a moment to also look at the info on the screen there that talks about what happens if you don't pull a card in the break. And consolation cards, when they're usually sent, all that, you'll see it on the screen. It's also available in the listing description in more detail. So moving right on along, let's take a look at break, our first up tonight. This is one box of 2016 Black Gold Football. It's break number 32, so the 32nd time we have broken this one. And our, of course it ended tonight, the 26th of February. We're live streaming it tonight. The format is team names on the left and your name and lights as the winning bidder across from it on the right hand side. And of course, one of these spreadsheets is going to go up before each and every break. So if you're not in this break, you're going to get a chance to 
see your name uh, for your break coming up ahead. The focus is changing here, guys. That's by design. I do realize that that takes the background out of focus, but that's really okay because we don't care about what's back there. We only care about the cards. And I just realized I left something I need downstairs. Hold on. have to get my exercise for the day, you know, running the stairs. <laughs> yeah, I left the utility knife down there. A uh, package came in earlier today, and when I opened it up, I carried the utility knife down and then left it there. That was super stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> I see BH in chat saying, go Jags. Well, let's see if we can't find you some Jacksonville Jaguars in here, man. I hope we can. I always aim to please. So, of course, we're going to find some base cards in here, too. It's pretty much all going to be numbered, even our base cards. So, some of them will be uh, numbered lower than others, of course. And I'm just getting some sleeves out, and we are officially ready to start looking. So, first up, we have Golden Arms. Um, that is numbered to 15, Aaron Rodgers for the Packers. A Gold Rush insert, Demarius, or I'm sorry, Thurman Thomas to 225. I just saw the Thomas and just went right to Demarius. That was kind of silly. Uh, this is for the Buffalo Bills. See, that's what happens. You just get on autopilot, right? <laughs> Jamal Charles to 225 for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, there might be a little bit of chipping down there in that lower right. I see a little spot of white down there. And honestly, guys, most of these cards in black gold are going to have some minor edge and corner imperfections. That's just kind of par for the course. This is 225 for the Jags. Maurice Jones drew. And it's, I think, really just more noticeable because of the dark background you know honestly oh bh you have the jags and plates and patches gotcha we'll be over there in that pretty soon we'll just try to keep your mojo going derrick henry for the titans this is to 199 mother load triple materials you got a little bit of uh looks like a thread or something right there a little white uh thread in part of your patch a redemption we'll have to deal with that in a minute how about a Zeke rookie for the Cowboys. A little bit of chipping in the upper, both the upper corners. Nothing too extreme, but a little bit. And nice low number on this one to 50. So that's an unexpectedly low number. These are often much higher than that. So you have one piece of leather for the football. Three patches. Uh, two of them are two color. That actually looks like part of a sock, to be honest. And then that looks like part of the jersey and part of the jersey. But anyway, nice Zeke to 50 for the Cowboys. For the Broncos, Devontae Booker, we have a little uh, ding down here in the lower right, probably up here in the upper left a little as well. That's a nice looking card to 149. You've got your uh, piece of the jersey there as well as a nice on card uh, gold signature. So cool little hit there for the Broncos. For the Dolphins, we have, uh, I think he says his last name, Sue. Is that right? Is it Sue or is it Su? I don't know. It's one of the two. I say Sue, and that's probably wrong. But anyway, you see who he is. It's to 199. Got a piece of the jersey for the Broncos. Then for the Raiders, uh, once again, corners and edges imperfect. And we have Jalen Richard, numbered to what? 225. Nice little on-card auto there. So, we're going to review our recap. I was kind of torn between what I was going to say there and it just came out twisted, period. We'll recap in a second. We have to give away this rewards point first. Uh, you know, that always replaces a hit when we find a rewards point. So, that's kind of a... Like, I personally don't love those rewards points cards, but I know some people don't mind them. Some people, I think, actually like them even, but... 
But anyway, here's what we're going to do with it. We're going to give it away over here in random. So I'm bringing you along with me as we go through this. That is the list of teams that I'm copying from our spreadsheet. And then we're going to buzz over here. I'm going to paste them into random. And since there are 32 teams, I don't see any reason to do the random multiple times. We should uh, be able to get it done just once. So that's what we will do. Scrolling through to let you see that all of the teams did, in fact, get pasted in there. We're going to hit random one time. Whatever team comes out in the number one position is going to take those points. Comes up as Cleveland Browns. So the Cleveland Browns with our 250 Panini Rewards points here. And now we can review our hits. And that's on a sleeve. If you didn't see me put that in a sleeve, I did. I used to write on the cards, but because to me it like makes no difference if you write on them because you don't have to have anything from the front. But I don't know. Some people got irritated, so I stopped doing it a while back. So to the Browns, our 250 Panini Rewards points. The hit for the Raiders with uh, the little rookie signature for Jalen Richard. Relic hit for the Dolphins. Relic and signature for the Broncos. Nice low number, uh, Zeke, to 50 for the boys. Very nice little rookie hit. For Ezekiel Elliott. And then our Derrick Henry for the Titans. Mother load triple materials there. So 2016 black gold. Uh, that break is in the books. Going to roll us into some 2014 triple threads. Give me a hot second here to get our spreadsheet up and running. And we will bust that one. And once again, if you are in this break, please take a moment to look at what's on the screen there. It gives you an anticipated shipping date if you are, uh, in, well, for any of the breaks, it gives you an anticipated shipping date. And particularly if you're in this break, please pay attention to the part uh, that talks about Constellation cards and what happens if your team isn't pulled because not every team is going to pull a card out of 2014 Triple Threads. And more information on that can also be found in the main listing description on eBay. So this is one box of 2014 tops, Triple Threads Football's break number two, second time we've busted it. And it ended tonight, of course, as well, the 26th of February. Everything we're breaking tonight ended tonight. And same format as before. We'll scroll down through here and give you a chance to work your mojo. You see your name across from your team, so now you gotta conjure it up, right? We gotta find the big hits. Ginger, it is um, right after we do this, the break order was um, shown there on that last spreadsheet. So first was 2016 Black Gold, second is 2014 Tops Triple Threads, and third is the case of Plates and Patches. Always break at the in the order that things end on eBay and virtually always have multiple auctions ending per night. So that's, um, we always break the stuff with the fewest cards first. And then we go from there. It does say in the listing description that we're breaking, of course, uh, other things beyond just the one thing that you might have been bidding on. I think it's worded something like uh, that we'll be breaking this and other things that end the same night or something along those lines. But uh, enough to let try to let people know that it's usually not just one break in an evening. It's usually a few. And Morlock, yes, I love the way the cards look in black gold. They're so uh, handsome, I guess is the word I should use. Peyton Manning for the Broncos is first out here in 14 Triple Threads. Next out, we have Ryan Matthews. That is numbered to 99, and it's for the Chargers. I guess I didn't say what Peyton was numbered to, did I? He's to 199, sorry. I skipped over that little part, didn't I? Troy Palomalu to $3.99 for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Love my Pittsburgh Steelers. For the Patriots to $3.99, Gronk. For the Patriots, unnumbered is Mr. Tom Brady. Bills, unnumbered, CJ Spiller. 
49ers unnumbered is Frank Gore. Bengals is Giovanni Bernard. The Kansas City Chiefs, Eric Berry. The Arizona Cardinals, Patrick Peterson. Now let's start taking a look at our hits. This is Zach Mettenberg, and Zach is numbered to 65. It's actually a cool-looking card. Um, you know, well, too bad it's kind of Zach Mettenberg, but I mean, it's not you know, terrible, but we would have maybe rather it been a little more high-profile player, probably, but either way, it's still a very cool card. Nice low number and uh, hard sign. No sticker auto there. A booklet. Oh, this is going to be nice. Maybe a little bit of edge uh, issues. I mean, super minor, but uh, in the corner here and again down there, both the lower corners, maybe even a little in the upper. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, I love this card. We have Johnny Man Manziel on the right and Sammy Watkins on the left, and that is just an awesome card. This is why I love Triple Threads. I mean, this card this card perfectly sums up why, why Triple Threads is so flipping awesome. And definitely we have some uh, wear, some imperfect corners on the back. Pretty much all four of them, but definitely down there in the lower left. So we'll go to the spreadsheet in a minute. And if uh, the same person owns the Bills and the Browns, they'll have that outright. If they don't, that will go to random. And we'll figure out who gets it by using random. This is number 250, and it is Brandon Cooks for the Saints. And then we have a triple relic coming up. So that, again, will end up going to random unless someone owns two of the three teams. You have to own 51% to take it outright. And Brandon Cooks for the Saints, Mike Evans for the Bucks, and OBJ for the Giants. Nice little trios there. And if this goes to random, I will enter it just so you know while I've got it in my hand. It would be entered from left to right. So it would go in as Saints, then Giants, then Bucks. And this is numbered to 36. So let's deal with that one first. We'll look at the Saints, the Giants, and the Bucks. And remember that you've got to own two of the three teams uh, to own 51% of the card. So unless somebody owns... Two of the three, it'll go to random. So the Saints, let me make sure we're on triple threads. We are. The Saints is uh, Tim69 York. The Giants, where are my Giants? Brian Powell, 1980. And then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, DPD. Okay, so next up, you know what that means. We have to rock back over here to random.org. And... Um, this will be uh, run through random three different times, okay? Because there's only three items in here. The first two times do not count. It is only the third and final random that counts and tells us who wins the card, okay? So first one, ignore it. Second one, ignore it. Third and final answers the question. There's three times, our date and time stamp. That comes up to the Saints. I'm going to mark that on the sleeve here so that we or I can remember that when it comes time to sort it and I'm going to go ahead and take us back to the home page of this because I expect we're going to end up right back here in a second but before we do that let's take one more look at the spreadsheet our second card of course if you remember has the browns and the bills on it so let me take a look at this the Browns is uh, Sierra 181, and the Bills is CB Sports Cards. So I figured we were going to end up back in random, but you always got to make sure. And of course, again, entered left to right means Bills are going to go in first. Browns are going to be entered second. And once again, a three random format. The first two will not count. So first one doesn't count. Second one doesn't count. Third and final does. And there you will see you have randomized three times. There's our date and time stamp. And that card is going to the Browns. And I've got to write that down. Let me find a piece of paper. 
Just can't put that card in a sleeve. Won't fit in one. All right, so that reminds me. Now, let's get back over here and do our recap. So this uh, Triple Relic, you can see once again, the writing is on the sleeve, not on the card. Triple Relic went to the Saints by way of random.org. So to the Brandon Cooks spot. This beautiful, beautiful uh, booklet here. And once again, guys, there is definitely some edge and corner wear, front and back, all, all the corners in particular. This little beauty right here is numbered to 18. I don't even think I said that before. I got really excited about the booklet. I don't even think I said it was numbered to 18. Uh, anyway, it was just awarded to the Browns. So Johnny Football uh, ends up taking that card. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about all along the bottom edges and things there. But still a very nice card. And then the Saints uh, with another Brandon Cooks. That's a relic to 50. And the Titans with uh, Zach Mettenberg to 65. And of course, you know, we had some other numbered cards and base cards. I don't recap those, but obviously those will be shipped out and sent out as well. So that has it wrapped up for 2014. Triple Threads. It's going to bring us to our main event, which is 2017 Plates and Patches. Yay! It's my last case, and I'm super sad to see it go. Your anticipated shipping date, guys, on this case of plates and patches is Wednesday, the last day of February. There's a very minor possibility I could, you know, it could go a day earlier, which would be tomorrow, or a day later, which would be Thursday, but my expectation is Wednesday for it. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about getting into it. I love plates and patches. You guys know this. So this is 12 boxes, which makes a full case. This is break number six. So this is our sixth case. And same format that you are accustomed to. Teams on one side and bidders across from them. And Plates and Patches was kind of reconfigured slightly this year. It seems like every year that they have it, which they had it, and then they stopped making it for a few years, and then they started making it again, you know, how Tops, or how Panini is, you know, comes and goes with things, but anyway, the way that it is set up this year is a five card uh, pack in each box, so there's going to be one autograph card, one relic card, one one of one printing plate, and then two numbered cards inside each of our boxes. And then somewhere along the way, we will also have an extra little hit, which will be an autographed printing plate. Those are case hits, so we find one of those per case. And as I said, sadly, this is my last sealed case of this, and this thing sold out like almost instantly. It was kind of crazy. I mean, it came out on a Friday. By Sunday, it was hard to find. By Monday, people were starting to say they were sold out of it. And by Tuesday, it was just gone. <laughs> like, nobody had it. So, I'm sure there's somebody somewhere still has it for a massively inflated price. But, but this is the last case I have, anyway. I do have a few loose boxes that I had picked up um, when it came out because I do, as you know, I like to do some one box breaks of things and also sometimes do some mixers and we do one box breaks of 2010 plates and patches pretty often and one box breaks of 2011 plates and patches when I can find it. Sometimes it's available and sometimes it's not. So I did have a few, not a lot, I think I ordered, I don't know, maybe eight or ten or something as loose boxes that will break um, as one box breaks somewhere along the way. But the last of the full cases, Nick, you said tonight is not starting out well. <laughs> that is not a good sign, ma'am. What teams did you have in that? And E-Fly in D, which I always think means North Dakota, and I don't know if it really does or not. Um, but E-Fly, who do you have in here tonight? Wayne! Hi, Wayne! We're still trying to find you your Carson Wentz, aren't we? 
we'll find him. We're going to find him for you somewhere. If we don't find him for you here, we'll find him for you in Select or somewhere, hopefully. And Wayne, I saw that your son is bidding uh, with us tonight for the first time. I did not, of course, know it was him, but I had uh, just sent a message. I, I, I try to send out messages if I think someone maybe is new and hasn't done breaks before or sometimes even if they've done breaks or they're new to my breaks if I'm stuff like that anyway so I I just kind of sent a message uh, checking in making sure we were good and he knew kind of how everything worked and he said he was your son I was so happy to see that we got uh, we got your family joining oh eFly indeed does mean North Dakota yay I got one right <laughs> cool and you are 20, 20 minutes from the Canadian border. Ah, Canada, eh? All right, guys. So first out, we have numbered 250 for the Cowboys, Michael Irvin. 275, Charles Haley, also for the Cowboys. So the Cowboys are just kind of coming out strong right now, aren't they? Breakers Addictions looking for Lions and, in particular, Barry Sanders. All right. Well, let's see what we can do. Our first printing plate, uh, Deonta Foreman. And this is out of Prestige Football. So, of course, he was in his collegiate uniform on there. But it goes, of course, to his current team. Rookie Quad Materials for the Chargers. Mike Williams to 75. And then our autograph hit out of box number one. Looks like this is going to be David Johnson for the Cardinals. Probably low numbered. Yeah, to 10. Oh, and a sweet patch. Yes, indeed. Nice three-color patch. That looks like an on-card auto, but it is not. It is a sticker, uh, but it is well-placed, so it looks kind of hard-signed. And it's numbered to 10. That's a really nice-looking card. Is that you, Nick? Do you have Cardinals tonight? Sometimes you have Cardinals along with your with your Viking or with your uh, Falcons. Why did I say Vikings? Number to fifty, Jabril Peppers for the Browns. Melvin Gordon to ninety nine, Chargers. Our one of one printing plate out of this box, Brandon Cooks, Patriots. Oh, Joe Theismann gridiron gear. Nice. Oh, I like that. That is 250 for the Redskins. I have a friend who's a big Redskins fan, so I have a I have a little soft spot for mostly the vintage Redskins like Theismann. Not that I have anything against the current Redskins, but you know what I mean. We have a redemption. I'm gonna make you wait. We're not gonna flip it over until the end. So, I know, that's incredibly cruel and unusual punishment, but, but yeah. <laughs> this is to 10 with Dan Hampton for the Bears. Chris Carson to 75 for the Seahawks. For the Eagles, Jordan Matthews out of Elite Football. Brett Favre, Packers. We're pulling uh, all kinds of cool retired players in our gridiron gear. Uh, the Brett Favre here is to 50 to go along with our nice little Joe Theismann that we pulled a minute ago. Kenny G, Mr. Kenny Galladay coming out for the Lions. So we got your Lions started, man. Breaker addiction. We don't have... Uh, your specific Barry Sanders yet, but we got a ways to go. This is to 99. Nice three color patch and signature there for Mr. Kenny G. Number 250 for the Eagles. Kersey. Kersey. I always say, I always botch his name. <laughs> Drew Brees for the Saints, and I forgot to say what he was numbered to, but it's 99. Our printing plate is for the Packers, and it's Randall Cobb. I love Randall Cobb. It's out of Don Russ football. 
he graduated from UK, which is where I went to school. So anytime we have a UK player or a former UK player in the pros in any sport, I always pull for them. I always want our, uh, our guys from my alma mater to do well. P. Ryan and Kelly, Robert Kelly and Samajay P. Ryan for the Redskins. Nice dual patches. Where is the number? There it is, to 50. Couldn't find it there for a second. So you've got a nice tricolor on the top patch and at least a two-color down there with P. Ryan on the bottom. So all in all, I give that high marks. Jags are on the board. D.D. Westbrook. Three color patch numbered to 50 and an autograph to go along with it. And I know you really just want Fournette, but we always seem to find D.D. Westbrook, like always. Ginger's looking for Alvin Kamara. All right, we're trying to find, uh, trying to find Alvin Kamara for the Saints for Ginger. This is to 50, Joey Bosa, Chargers. For the Panthers to 99, Greg Olson. Our one of one printing plate out of this box is for the Eagles, Jordan Matthews. And that is also from Don Russ Football. Falcons, Tevin Coleman, numbered to 25. Now, isn't this weird? They give us a patch numbered to 25, and it's basically just a big white piece of material. I mean, there's a tiny, tiny little seam over here on the edge, and that's it. Patch number to 25, you kind of think it's going to go boom, right? But no, it's just kind of white, which is odd. But anyway, that's what they gave us. How about that, Packers to 25, a little Jordy Nelson hard-signed auto. That is a sweet little hit for the pack on the Playmakers uh, card set. That is really nice, Packers. Nick, you have two of what now? What? A, oh, did you have the um, uh, the Tevin Coleman? Is that yours? Yeah, that would be why then. Yeah, that's probably right. This is to twenty five with Agnew for the Lions. And then we have to 99, Jay Cutler for the Dolphins, who maybe should have stayed in the broadcast booth, I'm just saying. Did not really have what I'd call a stellar season. Probably made more money, though, so I guess he made the right call. Richard Sherman for the Seahawks out of Don Russ Football. Our one-of-one one printing plate for the Seahawks. Now, see, that is a nice-looking patch for Earl Thomas. That's a really cool three-color patch, and this one's numbered to 50. So how do we get ripped off on Tevin Coleman? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder who at Panini makes these decisions. A second redemption. Oh, now you got two you have to wait on. But look at it like this, okay? You have hope right up until the end of the break. Because there's two redemptions and they could be yours. So if you're having a bad night up to this point, you can hang on to that. Put your... Put, focus your efforts on, on that. This is to 50, Miles Garrett for the Browns. Then we have Golden Tate to 25 for the Lions. So we are we are finding lots of Lions for you. We just haven't found the one you want specifically quite yet. This is to 75, Ladanian Tomlinson for the Jets. And somehow or another, we have an extra base card in that pack or an extra numbered card. Normally we have two. We had three. So there you go. Just a little bonus card for some reason. <laughs> Gerard Davis for the Lions out of Gold Standard Football, our one of one printing plate. And is this the first, this might be the first magenta plate I have pulled because it's definitely the first one I remember seeing in pink. So, you know, that might be kind of more unusual than the other printing plate colors. I don't know. Maybe. Rookie quad materials for the Niners, Joe Williams to 75. You have a couple of pieces of football, nice little two-color patch in the upper left, and then, of course, the white patch in the lower right. Ginger, you're about to be happy. Let's see how happy you're going to be. I think you're going to be pretty happy. 
Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Usually when they're thicker than normal, they're going to be low numbered and have an awesome patch. So I had a feeling this was going to turn over and be nice. To 25, Alvin Kamara for the Saints with a three color patch. That is a sticker auto, but it's a sweet, sweet little hit for Ginger and her Saints. Then we have Jalen Ramsey to 10, and that has a really dreadful corner down here in the lower right. I don't know how much you can see that, but that's kind of like uh, smashed up even. That, 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 is, that is a bad corner. That's a very bad corner in the lower right. Can you tell that? Can you see that? I don't know how much of it you can, but it's smushed, which is too bad because it's to 10. Um, I mean, it has a crease in it and everything where whatever happened to it happened to it. So that's kind of unfortunate. Carl Eller to 75 for the Vikings. Yeah, that was pretty cool, uh, Alvin Kamara, this year. The Saints in general. I mean, they had a nice little group of rookies this year. Hey, Packers, Paul Horning. One of one printing plate out of Absolute Football. Pretty cool. Bears are going to get involved with a nice little dual relic here for the Biscuit. And Jordan Howard, that is numbered to 10. And what I like the most about that is your patches pretty much match. So that gives that card some nice symmetry for uh, Trubisky and Jordan Howard. And, of course, the fact that it's numbered to 10 is going to make the Bears happy. Another redemption. There's three now. And that must be, is that going to be for our printing plate? Because there's our one hit. That must be for our printing plate. Because otherwise, you know, here are our other two hits out of this box. Nathan Peterman. Well, all right. <laughs> That's numbered to 99. It is hard signed for the Bills. And poor Nathan Peterman had a bit of a rough debut. But maybe it'll get better somewhere along the way. I don't know. To 25, a Forte for the Jets. For the Bills, Jordan Matthews to 99. And you know, if that redemption is for our printing plate, that's got to be somebody like pretty darn good to be in there as a redemption because I haven't pulled any printing plate redemptions. So, hmm, that might turn out to be a good one. Zach Brown for the Redskins out of Don Russ Football Cyan Plate. Oh, BH says it's going to be an Eric Berry. Really? Is that the only one in there? Oh, man. And somebody is... Breaker Addiction, you're saying that they're going to make Nathan Peterman the starter for real? Well, why stop with one Joe Theismann when you can have two? And this one's numbered to ten. So, a couple of Joe Theismann gridiron gear hits for the Redskins. So, you're kind of uh, stocked up on that. And another redemption. See, this is the thing. Here's a, I'll tell you two things about plates and patches this year. The first one is, you'll either find no redemptions, or you'll find like this. Three, four, five in a case. The second thing is, if you don't pull a Bengals card within probably the first two or three boxes you look through, you're probably not going to pull a Bengals card in the whole break. On the other hand, if you do pull a Bengals card, you're going to pull like five out of the case. It's kind of weird the way things work this year. Stefan digs to 25 for the Vikings. Warren Moon to 75 for the Seahawks. Huh, how about that? Printing plate, uh-oh. Oh, good, they're both Steelers, thank goodness. I was like, oh, I don't want to have to random a printing plate and take a one one away from somebody. We don't have to. Big Ben and uh, AB, both for my Steelers. That's out of prestige football. Falcons. Devonta Freeman to five. 
that is another spectacularly low number and a patch that I kind of think could have been a little more exciting when it's number five. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, I guess it's part of one of the numbers, uh, I would guess, or a letter. But regardless, it is a nice low number. So, Nick, you've got another, you've got another Falcons patch there, friend. Evan Ingram, rookie quad materials with a signature to 25 for the Giants. You have one piece of the football and, oh no, that's no pieces of the football. What was I thinking? I saw the red and I'm thinking there's a piece of football. No, not so much. Those are four uh, jersey cuts and they are all two color. So sticker auto, pretty cool little hit there with the Evan Ingram. Ginger thinks our redemption is going to be a logo tag. Well, here's the thing, though. We haven't pulled our autographed plate, right? So, see, there should be one autographed plate in every case. And our two, and we had our two other cards in that box. We had our relic and we had our autograph. So, that's what made me think that possibly it was going to be a uh, printing plate redemption. This is to 50 Philip Rivers for the Chargers. And then we had the other weird pack that had the extra base card in it. This is to 75 Thurman Thomas for the Bills. And then, I don't know what. And then this one. No, I guess it did have two base cards in it. I don't know. Joe Mixon. Of course, this is uh, out of, out of uh, Classics football when he was in his collegiate uniform. But it goes to his current team. So, Bengals, actually, are going to have a hit. Yay. Broncos, Anderson, and Lynch. Those are nice patches. Numbered to 25. Especially the CJ. Well, actually, they're both really nice. I started to say especially the CJ Anderson, but frankly, I like both those patches. So Paxton and CJ to 25 for the Broncos. And here's another Bengals hit right on cue. There's never just one. Upper Echelon, John Ross the Third. 99. Breaker Addiction says you don't remember seeing very many uh, Casey or Houston for plates and patches. They're definitely in there. We've pulled some Kansas City for sure. And actually I've pulled some Texans too. I'm pretty sure they're not. Um, I don't remember pulling Deshaun Watson, although he's in here. Uh, I usually pull um, uh, who's he watch the other rookie that we see all the time. For some reason, I'm blanking on his name right at this moment. Oh, and Wayne's putting out there that he wants uh, the signed printing plate to be Carson Wentz, so we'll see if we can make that happen. Warren Sapp to 50 for the Raiders. Carlos Hyde to 99 for the 49ers. Our one-of-one one printing plate here for the Cardinals, Hassan Reddick. That is from Panini Football. Bucks getting involved late. Rookie quad materials for O.J. Howard, numbered to 75. It's a really nice patch in the upper left. This tricolor right there is very nice. And then a couple pieces of the football and then another uh, two-color patch down in the bottom. And another redemption. Holy smokes. Okay, so we have... All of these redemptions, five of them, and you know I will go to the checklist and verify every one of them, even when we know who they play for, because that's just how I roll. So after we look at these, we'll go to the checklist. It will tell us, of course, the team, but we're probably going to know the team on everybody. But it should also tell us what these cards are numbered to, or if they're uh, open edition or whatever. So we're going to find we're going to find all that out uh, as we go along here as well. Okay. So our first one out is Evan Ingram, Upper Echelon. So we already know where that's going. That's going to the Giants. Let's go see what it's going to be numbered to. Let's get us over here in the right spot. And bring you, bringing you with me might be helpful as opposed to me being there and you not being on the same screen. It 
it's a lot of drop downs, but I love that they have it on here because they go all the way back to like 2009 or something. It's really super helpful that they have their checklists on here the way that they do. That didn't say blue or anything, no, it just says upper echelon. Okay. And then card number 14, right there is Evan Ingram, and that one's going to be numbered to 99. So let's get that one all ready to go. So there's Redemption 1. Next up, Dak Prescott is our printing plate autograph. See, I told you guys, I said our printing plate autograph was going to be a good one if it was a redemption. And so, yeah. It's going to be a good one. Because you know what? That's hard signed. Uh, I mean, everyone I have pulled so far, anyway, uh, they have all been hard signed. I don't think I've pulled any with a sticker autograph. So, Cowboys, how about you? That is nice. And what card number was Dak on there? 83. I'm going to come way down here. Numbered, there are only four of them, which I guess we knew all of our printing plates are to four. But anyway, for the sake of argument now, we know it's to four. So, yeah, that was, that was worth waiting on, Cowboys, wasn't it? Yeah, I knew it was going to be sweet. Oh, BH is trolling the Cowboys, man, saying it's going to be auto pin. I think they got all that corrected, but uh, still funny. Oh, my gosh. Dak Prescott again. Cowboys. What the what? Cowboys are raking it in right now. This is just plates and patches autograph, but, hey, let's go see if it's going to be numbered to something or another. And here they were thinking that they had been blanked, right? Is that what you thought, Cowboys? You're thinking, oh, man, all we got is numbered cards. Not quite. That is numbered to 25. So another very nice low hit for the boys who are coming on strong here in the land of redemptions. David Njoku, Rookie Patch Autograph Red. So let's go see how low that's going to be for the Browns. All right. Rookie patch autograph red. Where are you? What did I say the card number was on that? 236. David Njoku is going to be the 10 for the Browns. Our redemptions are quite nice tonight. Did I forget to put you over there? I might have. There you are. If I forgot to put you over there, now you're over there. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. I get all excited. Like, I'm, oh, it's to 10. I'm all happy. And then I forget to change your view. <laughs> Makes life a little rough, doesn't it? And finally, we have Tori Holt out of Playmakers. So let's jump over here and find out what Tori Holt is going to be numbered to. It's probably low numbered as well. And did I forget again to switch you? I did. What is wrong with me? I'm getting all crazy about looking to see the redemptions and forgetting to change your screen. So it's to 50. Okay, so that's still... I'm like, oh, it's only to 50 because we've been hitting them to 10 and, and to 4 and whatever. But 50 is still really good, so... All right, guys, we will recap this right now. For those of you who might be taking off, let me take a moment to once again say thank you. I very much appreciate each of you bidding with me and breaking with me and chatting with me. I like having the company. And let's just, uh, we'll start with our, we'll start with our printing plates. Of course, each of these, a one of one. And our autograph printing plate this time is a redemption. So we're not going to, flip any of these over. We're just going to buzz right along through them. Keep in mind, please, that these are all going to have varying degrees of scratches and imperfections on them. That's because they are actually used in the printing process, so that's just part of it. They're not going to come out perfect and minty on the printing plates. 
this is our little stack of relics. We'll do our signatures after that. And then finally our redemptions. Wayne, I'm sorry that we didn't find your Carson Wentz. I was really having high hopes for that tonight. Maybe he'll turn up and select on Friday night. I think that's our next that's our next case break opportunity for him anyway. Of course he could turn up in some of the one box breaks here or there, but the next time we've got a chance to pull him out of a case break is probably gonna be Friday night in select. Cause sadly have any more cases of plates and patches i would like to have a whole bunch more i just didn't order enough because really i thought i'd still be able to find them without a whole lot of trouble after the fact so there were so many things coming out that week i i mean i did okay i got six but if i had known hey you're never going to be able to get it again i probably would have gotten like 10 or 12 but what are you going to do well, actually, we'll do our redemptions very, very last. We'll do signatures. Uh, we'll do signatures here. BH, if you didn't pull any card at all, although I thought you did, I'm pretty sure you did. Didn't you pull a DD Westbrook? Like I think you did. Um, but if you didn't pull anything at all, like nothing, nothing, I will still send you something. Of course, anybody who's in this break, if you didn't pull a single card, numbered insert or hit or otherwise i'll still send you something yeah see there's a dd westbrook i was pretty sure you had one it was just early on you forgot about it it seems like it was like a different break because it's so long ago <laughs> i know i know i take my time kind of going through some of these because well i mean there's no reason to rush through it i don't think especially when we've got a lot of nice hits to look at i'd rather take the time and look at them then just blow through them but that's just me and then our redemptions Tory Holt on the playmakers insert uh, that'll be 250 for the Rams no need to look at the back of those because there's nothing on them then we have a Dak Prescott printing plate autograph which I love Cowboys to four then for the Giants to 99 upper echelon Evan Ingram that should be hard signed when you get it David Njoku rookie patch Autograph red, nice low number to 10 for the Browns. And then the boys again with a second Dak Prescott uh, plates and patches autograph to 25. So all in all, I would say a pretty successful night, right? I think so. <laughs> Breaker Addiction says, hey, if I would just accidentally put one of those Dak Prescotts in his... Uh, in his shipment, he wouldn't mind. Ah, but I bet the people who have the Cowboys probably would mind. That's just my guess, man. But I, I think they might be a little ticked if that were to happen. So I appreciate the attempt, but I don't think I can help you on that one. So once again, if you missed it earlier, guys, here is your anticipated shipping date. Uh, depending on which break you were, were in, plates and patches anticipated to ship Wednesday. Uh, the two free shipping breaks anticipated to go Saturday. And once again, that's always plus or minus a day, meaning it could go a day earlier. It could slide a day later, but that is always my best guess, what you see on the screen. And then a quick little run through once again for what's coming up in the days ahead. I'm going to break some prestige basketball. That's Hobby Direct. It's only a quarter case because there's a massive amount of cards in it, and it's a weird number of boxes in the card. Too many to do a half. Can't cut it into a third because they made it an even number of boxes. It's just weird. And then, of course, Wednesday, Encased Football comes out. We'll break a half case of that along with a half case of Topps Heritage Baseball, which comes out the same day. Thursday, we'll be back into a half case of Contenders Basketball. Friday, we have a full case of Select. Saturday, the back half of the Contenders Basketball that we start on Thursday. And then, of course, in between all kinds of memorabilia breaks and one box breaks and all that jazz. And that's it for tonight. As always, thanks, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I hope I will see you again soon. And in the meantime, wherever you break, I hope you pull something that is on fire. Caliente. See you later. Bye-bye.